Welcome back, everybody. Sarah Ophelia Colley Cannon, better known as Minnie Pearl, was a Nashville legend who has a special place in many of our hearts. She was a country comedian who performed on the stage of the Grand Ole Opry for more than 50 years, from 1940 to 1991. What an incredible career. And although she's no longer with us, some truly, some truly carry on her legacy. As we see, Casey Haggerty met up with this Minnie Pearl impersonator. Well, listen to her. There's no one quite like the late queen of country comedy, Minnie Pearl, except for maybe Cindy Moore. Howdy! Cindy's not only an impersonator, she was a dear friend of Minnie Pearl. Howdy! Howdy! I'm Minnie Pearl, and I'm from Grinder Switch, and I'm just so proud to be here. Howdy! Well, Ma, I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> this all started when Cindy moved to Nashville after landing a role as Minnie Pearl at Opryland Theme Park. I'm performing in the park, and I run out on the stage, and I said a big howdy, and I hear this familiar howdy in the crowd, and there sat the real Minnie Pearl. So you can imagine how nervous I was. I was shaking, but after the show was over, she came to me and she said, you know, Cindy, you've got me down, but I want to work with you. So I go to her house, and we spent hours and hours there, and then she found out that I really didn't really have a place to live, so I stayed there for a little bit with her. Soon, Cindy performed in shows with Minnie. See, we do this from time to time on the conventions. We have the Opry uh, from the park, we have the Country Music USA, and when Minnie Pearl comes out, she does a few gigs, and then she says, but just now somebody said to me, and who are you? And then I walk out and say, and who are you? <laughs> And it always startles the audience because they don't know I'm coming. <laughs> I cannot tell you what a wonderful, caring lady she was. When the hat came off, she was very sophisticated and she was not Minnie Pearl. She was Sarah Ophelia Colley Cannon. And she's touched countless other lives through the Minnie Pearl Cancer Foundation, now called Pearl Point, and the Sarah Cannon Cancer Center. Minnie Pearl was a cancer survivor, as is Cindy. I didn't really want to walk down that road with her, but I did. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. So she touched so many lives, and that's why I want to keep her legend going. And that's why Cindy does what she does. And then after I got involved with the Minnie Pearl Cancer Foundation, I got to open up for Bill Cosby, Sinbad, Dana Carvey, Jay Leno, and in 2001 and 2002, I sang back up for Jeannie Seeley, and she talked the management into letting me perform on the Grand Ole Opry, which I was the first person to ever do that, and I was so scared. Howdy! Yeah. Ooh, I'm just so proud to be here. Oh, I love being back here at the Grand Old Opry, especially with all of you good-looking fellers out there. This piece up here, the little Minnie Pearl statue, Minnie would give that to people that performed as her. This is a bench that I found. It was presented to her on her 45th anniversary to the Grand Old Opry. Her cane is over here. This is her original hat that she gave to me, and I'm just so blessed to have that. Cindy learned a lot from Minnie and her heart forever touched. Well, she used to say, reach for the moon because you just might prick your finger on the edge of the star. So every night I go outside and I look at the stars and I pick out a star and I reach for it and I prick my finger. And that's what I take away from it. Is that the coolest? Now, Minnie Pearl was so, so special to so many. She did so much for the country music community and for Nashville. And I've known Cindy for a long time, so she's been doing this for years and years. She's like the go-to authority on Minnie Pearl, for, for sure. For sure, yeah. yeah. So.